This is probably the most important jump of her career so far. And she does! Zinarova goes clear for the third attempt. 4.95, a lifetime best. And she's tearful. But what a win for Angelica Sidorova, a lifetime best. Angelica Sidorova, congratulations, the world champion. How does that feel? Has it sunk in yet? Really? <laughs> I don't believe in it now. And I'm really happy. And now I feel only tired and happy. And I don't know. It's amazing. But after, after each height, I felt more confident and more confident. And step by step, I felt that I can do it today. And you obviously had super consistent season and it all kind of came together when it mattered. Uh, did your coach, what did he say to you before beforehand? <laughs> uh, she just said that today is our day and everything will be good. Yeah, that's all. It was indeed. You are the world champion. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Sandy Morris, congratulations. A silver there in the women's pole vault. Just talk us through how it kind of unfolded out there for you. Near perfect records. Man, I knew it was going to take something really big to win today. I, I knew it from, from the minute we started because we had perfect conditions. Um, everybody was on. I think this may be go, this competition might go down in history as the most women over 4 meters 80. I'm not sure, but it was an impressive competition all around. Um, and so I went out there, and if nothing else, I was going to have fun today. So I, was, I had a smile on my face. I was appreciating every trip down that runway that was a good jump. And it showed because I was making everything on first attempts. I was having a good time. And when it came down to that final height, that final bar, I just gave it everything I had. And it wasn't meant to be for me today, but I can't help but feel like all these silver medals are leading up to something. Someday, that gold medal will be mine. Someday. <laughs> I love your spirit, but a, season best, a season's best performance as well. Exactly. So, you know, I can't. It's so hard, I can't be upset because I gave it everything I had. I jumped as high as I could today. I gave it all of my soul and it just wasn't enough. So I just have to swallow that pill and learn from it. And just, it's kind of a life lesson. You know, you have to appreciate every single day you walk away healthy and walk away with a medal of any kind. So there are a lot of people going home with no medals. So I'm gonna appreciate it. And you were the first person as well to clap and then go and uh, congratulate uh, Sidorova as well. Just a word on how much you guys get on, I guess. Yeah, I think that's, um, for me personally, just not necessarily being friends with everybody, but just acknowledging that we're all human beings and we're all out there giving this everything that we have. And I can see everyone's struggles and I can see their, um, successes up close and personal and I know what they're feeling so I can't help but be happy for somebody when I see them succeed because I know what that feels like so even though she's my competitor I couldn't help but go give her a hug because I know what that feels like <laughs> when the silver medal sunk in I can't wait to see how you celebrate on social media because you're so big on that I love all your dance moves it makes me laugh yeah I mean I'm a big goofball and I love to show that to my fans because there's more to us than just being athletes and um, that's my favorite part about having fans is being able to interact with them and and just make everybody feel happy and make them laugh. But congratulations once again on that silver medal. Thank you so much. Katarina Stefanidi congratulations bronze medal in the women's pole vault. You're the reigning champion coming into it but a bronze medal must be a great achievement all the same. Yeah that's what I was just saying of course I came in wanting to win and defend my title but now that everything is done, I am very happy to be living with the medal. It was the hardest women's football competition that has ever happened. Six girls over 480, I think 11 over 470. It was crazy. And I'm pretty sure this is the highest jump ever to be getting a bronze medal. But most importantly, this is the season best. So I came and I did my best for the year. So, and that's the most important for us to see that our planning and our training is working right. But how great is it, like you just said, to see the depth coming through 17 females into the final as well? It's, it's very exciting. And like I was saying earlier that I want to win. I, want, I go into every meet wanting to win, but I have so much more fun in competitions like this that a lot of girls jump high and you need to jump higher to do better. And I, again, I would have liked to win, but it's just so much fun to be part of it, even if you lose. Yeah, just give us a little bit of an insight into what it's like down there in a final. We watch it and Sandy Morris seems to just 
be the life and soul of the party and getting everyone excited? <laughs> um, I mean, I think Sandy is so emotional after every one of her jumps and everybody gets emotional and happy for her. And then you have Angelica Sidorova that is the exact opposite. So it's, I think it's very hard, but at the end of the day, it's all about making the bar. So everybody was celebrating every, every bar make. Uh, I think maybe Sandy's a little upset to, to go home with another silver medal, but I don't feel bad for her, so. <laughs> Congratulations, awesome achievement. Thank you, thank you very much. Christian Taylor. Taken the lead with 1786 in the fourth. This is his fifth round jump. Oh, he's back. It's even bigger. It's even better. This guy, quite simply, just doesn't know when he's beaten and doesn't know how to lose. 1792. He stays where he's been for the best part. Of Christian Taylor, congratulations. Your fourth world title. Does that sound a little bit bonkers when I say that? Yeah, um, really my goal was to be one time uh, world champion, one time Olympic champ. To go to the Olympics was a dream come true. Everything else is really, I've said, is icing on the cake. Now four times, it makes me feel old, you know, that I've been doing this for so long. But no, I, I keep praising my coach and, and saying how phenomenal it's been to do this journey with him, to travel the world. We've lived abroad and, and um, taken on many challenges, but to be at the top again, we're so grateful. And a bit about your season as well. You haven't got to do as many 400s as maybe you usually like yeah, to. Yeah. Have you missed them a little bit? Um, absolutely not. It is a great challenge uh, mentally, but the lactic, it sucks. Um, but I just do it to just push myself, maybe put a little seed in my competitor's mind that when I go back to the triple jump, they all say, you're crazy, you're crazy, you're crazy. But this is the mentality I take on the runway. Um, but I enjoy watching it. And you got a season best as well, 1792, because you had a few problems, I think, in qualifying with the run up and it wasn't going all your way. Yeah, um, I was just going for the world record. You know, I thought if I'm in the final, just make it count. Um, it just wasn't that day, but I knew I was in good shape and I could get a safe mark, make it to the finals and try again. Came up short, but it was enough to win. And you did it in style as well, because you um, have some pretty swanky shoes there. Just tell us about your collaboration, Oda Buck and Junior, I think. Yeah, yeah, um, actually, Four years ago, uh, three years ago in Rio, he did a triple jump in the end zone playing the Ravens, and he's playing the Ravens tonight again. And so um, Nike was so, so nice and, and did a collaboration, and I'm a big fan of him. He's, you know, a great player, and, and yeah, you'll be seeing these same shoes on him tonight. Well, I hope he gets a chance to re-watch it. If he was playing tonight, maybe he didn't get a chance to watch that gold medal, but I hope he gets to catch up and record. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, yeah, do your thing, man. Congratulations, Christian. Thank you. Will Clay, congratulations there. Triple jump, silver medal, 1774. Just sum up the entire evening for you. Um, I knew it was gonna be a, like a boxing match out there. We were gonna go round for round, and um, I knew I was gonna have to be ready each round to respond back to Christian. Um, unfortunately, you know, I couldn't put one together that, that was gonna get the gold, but you know, I'm happy for the second. You know, I think um, it's been a great year. Um, I've had so many people supporting me this year, and. Um, kind of feel like I let him down, but, um, you know, I, I just got to keep fighting. You know, uh, now my uh, sights are set on 2020 in Tokyo and um, getting the gold medal there. Um, this is going to put an even bigger chip on my shoulder and um, I'm going to get back to work. Um, I just want to say thank you to all my friends and family, um, my sponsors, Puma and Red Bull, my coaches, Bashir Ramsey and Jeremy Fisher, um, just everyone that supported me up until this point. And uh, we're going to keep fighting and, you know, we gotta, we still got to finish the mission. We're not done yet. Season must be finished for you now. What do you do now in the off-season? Is it a chance to let your hair down a little bit? Uh, I'm going to Greece with my wife uh, in a few days, going to Santorini and Mykonos. So that'll be a much-needed vacation. It's been a long season. Um, and, yeah, I need it. I need a vacation before I get back to work for uh, the Olympics next year. Well, Greece, maybe that's where the Olympics obviously began. That could be a sign of things to come. Yes, God willing, I hope so. You heard it here first. Well done, Will. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. Enjoy the holiday. Hughes, Fabrice, Mango, congratulations there. Um, 17.66 to get the bronze. I mean, can you sum up what it means right now? I'm really happy. I'm really happy because it was on my sixth, sixth jump that I uh, came third. So. It was really a battle of mine, so I'm really happy to, to get this medal like this. But I, it's a bit, um, how to say it, 
I was really, I, I was uh, really uh, ready for this competition. I hope a better medal, but uh, it's okay. I hope that uh, next year it will be better. How do you sit there and control your mind throughout all those rounds and then produce the best jump at the end? <sighs> at, the, at the first jump, I, um, my coach told me that I did uh, many mistakes, you know, on my run-up. So I tried to, to, to correct this one and uh, it was better in the sixth one, so this is why I jumped uh, 1766. Uh, and tell us about how it was out there in, in terms of jumping. The conditions looked pretty much perfect. Yeah, the condition was really perfect because uh, it was uh, a bit hot. So it, I think that in the stadium we have uh, t t 27, something like that. So it's, uh, the conditions are really perfect and the track is really good. So we can run fast and jump really uh, fast. So uh, all, all was perfect for me. Great job, gonna enjoy that bronze medal. Thank you. The women's 100 meters world championship final. It's a clean start, there's a roar from the crowd. Shelly Ann Fraser Price gets a good start. Dina Asher Smith going well. Fraser Price is going to get there. What a performance. Fraser Price and it's silver for Dina Asher Smith. Another gold. Her legacy as one of the all-time greats is surely complete. She's the world champion. Yeah, Fraser once Price, again. congratulations. Your fourth world title now at the 100 meters. Just sum up that for us. Yeah, man. Wow. <laughs> Four. <laughs> You know, I'm really excited about it. You know, it took a lot of hard work to be here and to be able to do it after having my son is just equally brilliant. You know, I have to give God all the glory because I could not have done it without him. I, you know, I feel so blessed, honestly, to be able to come back, you know, after two years and still do the things that I've been doing all these years. It's just a wonderful feeling. And how is it as well having your son here to kind of watch yes, you? Yes, I was hoping that he wouldn't fall asleep, but he didn't. And I'm just really excited about that, that he got to see it. And, you know, hopefully back in, in the future, we can show him and say, you know, you were here and we took a victory lap together. So put some respect on my name. <laughs> and you weren't here last time out, of course. You were, I think you just had your son. Yeah, I had um, my son the day after the 100 meter finals in London. Do you think that motivated you more to just come back even stronger? Honestly, I was already motivated to come back, you know, when I found out that I was pregnant, you know, and everybody was like, oh, I think she should retire. I had no plans of retiring. I had plans of coming back. So here I am, and I'm really excited about that. Congratulations. You did it in style as well. Thank you. <laughs> Dina Asher-Smith, congratulations. A silver medal in the women's 100 metres final with a national record as well and a PB. It kind of went pretty well, didn't it? did thank you so much I mean I was I always want to come here and run the best race that I possibly can of the season and hopefully of my career so um, I was happy to have executed that and done it in a world champs final and it was obviously the first time a British woman had ever made a hundred meter final here as well so that was a bit of history I didn't even know, I didn't even know that when you're kind of like in the moment I just kind of try and block it out and stay in my own little bubble but that's cool so to have done that with like national record as well it's been a good evening yeah <laughs> just kind of talk us through the rounds as well because you come up here really kind of focus every time and that's obviously the plan just to kind of stay focused in your bubble and then go out in the final yeah definitely mainly is I always talk about protecting my energy because I'm quite a naturally positive person upbeat person but sometimes when you talk to some people they throw in kind of negatives and things you hadn't thought about and then you're like oh I thought that race was really good but that person said it was bad you know what I mean so um, for me between the rounds I just try and stay in my own little bubble only take on what my coach says and yeah protect my energy I've read before you like to stay off social media as well just oh to yeah. keep away from distractions have you <laughs> yeah Instagram Twitter they're deleted they've been gone for like a week now I might post something tonight maybe tomorrow morning and then delete it again because you know you have to post something on social media don't you like nowadays <laughs> of course a quick yeah. one the 200 as well you're obviously going in that event um, what's the plan before then basically sleep recover eat something um, get my national record ratified and just boring admin stuff, recover, yeah, make sure I've done a nice little warm down, talk to my coach, talk about the race and then just get ready for my next event. Well, congratulations on that silver, can enjoy it. Thank you so much, thank you, have a good evening. Yeah. Mary Jose Talu, congratulations, a bronze medal in the women's 100 metres final. Uh, just sum up the evening. 
ah, I'm just happy, you know, my season was really not nice, like I say. So today to be in the podium, I think it's the best gift God gave me. And after my semi-final, I feel something in my knee, so I just have to try and to finish in the podium. I do that. I just thank God for that power he gave me. And, oh, okay. and a word on the welcome that you guys got as well as you stepped out onto the track, all the light parade, your names obviously projected onto the, onto the track. How was that? Oh, it was really nice to see that. It's my first time, so it really impressed me. So I'm just really, really impressed of that presentation. It's the first time, and I think it's nice here. Yeah. Congratulations on that bronze. Thank you. The first mixed relay final in World Championship history. Wilmot London leading for the United States though. America in front, Jamaica going well in second place. Poland are going to have to hang on. They have a big lead. USA second, Jamaica third, Great Britain fourth. It's the mixed relay, this is the last lap. The inaugural champions to be crowned. And it's Michael Cherry. The gold is going to go to Michael Cherry and the United States. The inaugural champions. It will also mean Alison Felix moves to 12 world titles. The United States have another world record, another gold medal. And that means so too does Alison Felix, who becomes the most decorated gold medalist in Guys, world Congratulations there. A world record and a first, obviously, in this event, the mixed 4x4 100 meter relay. I'll go over to you first, Will. Um, you got off to a great start. Was that the plan? Just get out and go fast from the offset? Yeah, just run, run as fast as I can, give my uh, team a great lead, you know, just execute my race and just hand it off to Alison at first. That's all I, uh, that's all I wanted to do. Alison, I'll come to you next then, because you were second, obviously, there. And now you're most decorated um, world championship performer of all time. 12 medals now, um, overtaking Usain Bolt. Just sum up what that means. Uh, to me, this year was just about making it back to the stage. Um, you know, a lot of fight went into it, and it was a lot of fun to run on this team in a new event. And Courtney, obviously, you were third, the third leg there. Um, how was it getting it from Alison and then trying to just keep that lead? Because obviously the world record was in your side and, of course, that gold medal. Yeah, uh, the, we, we just tried to do our best. Um, I knew that we were still in good position, so I just tried to do my best and pass it off to Michael. And then, Mike, you obviously had to chase down uh, the Polish athlete. It was a female. It's a little bit unusual to try and chase down a female, isn't it? Yeah, it's pretty different. I guess a guy probably holds you off a little later, so I just wanted to go out, try to uh, get, a, get the lead from the start, and just hold on for my teammates. But the stage is set for Yu Hong, the 32-year-old. A career glittered with gold, and she's striding purposefully. What a look at determination on her face. She was in the pack with the group for so long. A little grimace, a world record holder, and for the third time, she is the IAAF world champion over 20 kilometers. It's China's night in Qatar. Yu Hong, a hat-trick of world titles for her. And they'll be waving the flag a little bit longer because coming in behind there is Tiang Shenji to get silver. Another podium position for her. And it's a hat trick of Chinese vets on the podium because Yang Yujing has the bronze. The emotion and the trio will come together wrapped in their nation's flag. Another proud night for Chinese race walking.